at the 2025 Africa International Agricultural Expo. I am Daniel Arapmoy. For decades, Africa's agriculture has been known for untapped potential. That narrative is being rewritten. We are talking about a shift from subsistence to sustainability, from analog to digital, and we are here to show you how. Doing, I see you got a lot of uh, stuff here, good, good drones. Yeah? Ooh, this is nice. Now, let's start from the sky. This is no ordinary drone. This is a field doctor. Uh, we have a drone that can do crop health analysis. And uh, with that, uh, it can be able to tell you precisely areas of your farm that are not doing well and those that are doing well. Now that's game-changing for the environment and farmer health. Precision, efficiency, data. This is the new foundation for African farming. But what good is smart tech if the seeds cannot withstand the climate? This pavilion is all about building resilience from the ground up. So Mr. Jan, what are your seeds specifically meant to do? Sir. Breeding experience accumulated in similar climatic conditions in southern China have demonstrated exceptional adaptability to adverse conditions like high temperatures and drought prevalent in Kenya and many parts of Africa. The revolution doesn't stop at the farm gate. We have uh, a number of SMS. When information, have, when information comes, we have a mass kind of release of SMS. We just release an SMS once and reaches. Uh, all, the, all the farmers in a, in a real time. So, what does all this mean for Africa's future? Meet David Sabit, a South Sudanese national who quit his old job to get into farming. Sabit says innovation and technology has made agriculture more lucrative and profitable, encouraging him to make the switch. Professionally, I'm a flight dispatcher, but I did not see it as fulfilling as farming that, con uh, that brings food on the table to people from within. He says that the solutions being designed by experts to address challenges like drought, low-tech adoption, fragmented supply chains will be crucial in boosting yields. To many, the story is no longer about potential, but progress for a future that is not just green, but smart, connected and uniquely African. Daniel Arab Moy, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.